day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Okay, we're looking at Luke 18, 1. And he spake a parable unto them, parable unto them to this end, that men ought always to pray and not to faint. That goes back to what he just told other people. For fast yeah. and prayer, right? Go ahead. Saying, Look. there was in a city a judge, excuse me, which feared not God, uh -huh. neither regarded man. Okay. And there was a widow in the in that city. Yes, sir. And she came unto him, saying, Avenge me of mine adversary. Uh-huh. And he would not for a while. Okay. Afterward, he said within himself, Though I fear not God, no regard man, uh -huh. yet because this widow troubles me, I will avenge her, lest by her continual coming she weary me. And the Lord said, Hear what the unjust judge said and that not God have avenged his own elect, which cry day and night unto him, though he bear, though he bear long with them, though he bear long with them, I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth. Find faith on earth of him, of God. Yes, shall he yes. find faith on the earth. Yes, sir. But we walk, so the scripture said we walk by faith, not by sight. Walk by faith, not by sight. Faith in what? You said the other about the force of war. What are we going to be fighting with? What weapons are we going to be fighting with? We're going to fight with the word of God. Yes, to me is, and, and also, we're, we're you got to work at that thing. Come on now. That's what he's talking about. That woman was going to trouble him to go out and do it. So you Woo. just keep. You keep at it until it produces. You want to build your faith up because you're not giving up. Come on. That, 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 I think that's the key right there. You want to build your faith up. Yeah, I mean, that, that, that's the whole thing for us. Because what, I mean, what, what else? By faith, we say. Come on now. By grace, we're saved. But that's through faith. We have to believe that God has accomplished the work. Woo. Salvation on our behalf. Come that on. is the access to all that God has promised us. Our believing that He actually died for our sins and reconciled us to the Father. Come on. We must have faith in that. <laughs> we must believe that that actually took place, and then everything else kind of, kind of flourishes from there. I know with it, right? If we can't get that down, then the rest of it's not for us. Come on now. That, that's <laughs> why the Bible says if, if, if. If you can't believe that, come on, then you're wasting your time because that is the foundation. If you can't believe that God loved the world enough come on now. to send his only son come on now. <laughs> to die on the cross Woo! Come on. in our stead come on. to relieve us of the debt of sin and separation from him for eternity. Yes, sir. Yes, sir then you are wasting your time because on that uh -huh. is the power and authority that we walk in Come on. as new right. creatures and children of God. Yes, so sir. that is the foundation. Come on. That's where the faith comes to become. Come on. Hey. That word right there is the faith to become a child of God because it takes faith. It takes faith. By faith through grace. Come on. Grace through faith, you become a child of God. And you, and know, you cannot become a child of God without his word because come faith on. cometh by hearing uh -huh. and hearing by the word of God. So you've it's got to have the gospel just to be saved. Just to be saved. You know, it gives me, I think, it's like when he said have faith in God, when the children of Israel wanted their king, the world king, they went into the world system said, I don't have faith in God. Give me another man. Give me a, give me a, a what do you call it? Intermediator? Yeah, a mediator. They use man, the world system. 
And he told them what they're going to get, didn't he? He yeah. told them what well, exactly happened. what was going to happen. And it's still happening. It's yeah. still happening. And they're still going for him. That's the thing that tripped me out. Like, they know he's corrupt, and they're still reaching out for him. Like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> As long as we have faith in man, our fellow man, we shot. the of God, we do. we'll get what we get. Yeah. You'll get what you deserve. Man, that's just crazy. I'm sitting up here thinking, why would they want to be subject to a man? Come on. Woo. Why? Why? Woo. You, know, you got a God. Because they don't want to be subjected to God. Woo. I mean, if you, if you look at the things that we, we that we're required to do, my cardinal faith is not going on with Christ. I ain't gonna tell you a lot. It, it, it has been had. I have to kill it for real. My flesh does not want to do spiritual stuff. It's like, no, I want to eat. <laughs> that one, I want that one, and that one over there too. Uh huh. So what we don't want that system because the requirements on our flesh is really taxing. We have to literally kill that portion of our nature in order for us to really access all that's offered to us from Christ. Well, and you're right, Elder, because the Bible talks about they killed those prophets they did. <laughs> when they, did. they came, you yep. know, and those prophets came not with joy. Woo. Most of the time, they came, they came with some some seriousness, you know, and and and, and they, they were telling telling their secrets <laughs> out in public, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> exposing, you know, their 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 shortcomings and. And uh, wow, speaking, wow, speaking some some serious stuff. So, yeah, I, I do understand. Man. Wow, we're not teaching people to have faith in God. No, we want to. I, I think a lot of times we don't even want God's involvement because we feel obligated Woo! to do it. I mean, if, if he's doing, if he's going to be the provider, then I got to do it his way. Wow, God for myself, I do it how I want to do it. I'm God. Why you when be? I become God, I do it my way. When you gotta be God, now I gotta serve you and obey you. Mm, I don't think so. I want that. Why do you know what I'm thinking about in John to the end when they were looking at you know we talked about Barabbas or whoever that guy was that was the uh the choice the editor. Yeah. You know, but look at that one I look at what I thought about John when they said we have no king except the Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> Look at that again. The children of Israel <laughs> sit there and once again chose a man. <laughs> they chose Caesar to be their king. Didn't they do it ever? That's what they did, didn't yeah. they? Yep. they said, Caesar's our king. Yep. They said God was the king. They are the children of Israel, right? They yep. weren't the covenant people, right? Yep. They were God's people, but they said Caesar. <laughs> and he was, he was, his charge was that he was convicted as the king of the Jews. God. Jesus is God manifested, right? In the flesh. He was charged, elder. His charge was king of the Jews. And the people of Israel said, now I ain't say all of them, but the ones that said it loud enough to be put in that book, <laughs> Caesar is our king. Now what about us? Do we need to understand? It's not, it's not the pastor of a big church or small church. It's God through Jesus Christ. The leader of the Holy Spirit. That's who our king is. That's who he's submitted under. You said submission. Submission to who? Submission. To yeah, and and, and, and and oh if you think about it, Elder, you said you raised up in more than in most and I think Elder, I think Brother Asher too. The church tried to say, You will submit to me. Yeah. You will you will do what I tell you to do. Right. And you're talking about the old traditional churches, where that brother has in it. It was a pastor, right? They they, they want to hit you. Submit to me. You do what I tell you to do. Yeah, yeah. It, it was it was. I mean, he's Pastor Dollar when I, I knew him in the early stages. He was like, "No, you submit to me." Isn't there something? You do exactly, and you know that's in there. That's in a traditional church, but 
and those who've been to black church, probably the white church too, but especially. No, the black churches, I think, were more prevalent. Huh? I think it was more prevalent among blacks. Yeah. Coming out of slavery, yep. all they did is took that slave mentality yep. and brought that into the church. Yep. Yeah. But so you we, know, the funny part come on. about it is that that's, that's actually going to turn to be our, our advantage. Yes, sir. Because we are accustomed to and we expect to hear from somebody. And then we need to understand. We just always chose the wrong people to listen to. Right. Because <laughs> really, we want to be led by the Holy Spirit. We want to be led, but we just choose the wrong thing. Well, right, because the Bible said that he does led by the Spirit of God upon the children of God. That's right. He to learn and be able to teach and equip everybody to be led by the Spirit. Spirit. That's right. You're not going to be off God if you're led by the Spirit of God. Yep. <laughs> That's the authority of God. Huh? We got to come. You said submission is under him. Well, let's get this communion. Let's chew on that. Because <laughs> that's a lot to chew on. I don't know about y'all. <laughs> that's it a is. lot to chew on. <laughs> it is, it's a foundational truth that when it gets locked in, Jesus is still happening at that point because it's hard to believe that Jesus can do anything. Woo! But he can't. <laughs> hey, look. There's nothing he can't do. He came through Christ. Oh, faith through Christ. And that. Through Christ. And it's true. And it's true. Even the mountain being removed and cast into the young sea, that's even true. Woo! It was a parable. It wasn't an allegory. It was a fact. You know what he said. You can tell that mountain to go follow his deal, bro. <laughs> oh, hey, this bishop. Bishop, I can do all things through Christ. <laughs> it's right. like unbelief. It's not. It's our belief is getting up, man. That's the thing that kills us. Wow. Yeah. It's our unbelief. And hey, listen, we're telling for you, we're telling back is that the church needs to teach all saints to be weapons qualified, meaning spiritual word qualified, because that's what we got to operate in. And the authority is Christ. That we walk under the authority of Christ. So, so we saw you disappear. Did you, you come back and you got did God give you a word for us to, to hear before we close out? <laughs> I was listening, man. I was listening to uh, uh, Bishop Addison and Bishop Johnson. And I heard Jimmy Hill voice, but I never saw him. Oh yeah, he he's showing his video. <laughs> He just audio only. Okay, okay. But no, I was just listening, man. I'm listening. Amen, amen. We were getting some. I, I don't know, brother Asher. You want to summarize it for us? We, I think we got a lot out of this today. Yeah, we got a lot. Uh, to me, the bottom line is the authority. Yes, we sir. Have. We we got to know that, and we got to walk in that. Yes, and sir. That that only comes from from hearing and hearing by. Wow. Oh God. Um, yes, sir. And and knowing who we are. Yes, sir. So so we got to understand that 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 we as, as Jesus is, so are we in this world. Yes, sir. We, oh, we need to understand woo. that. Woo. We really need to understand that. So he he's not he's not only in heaven, he's right here. Yes, sir. With us, wherever we go. Come on. So that, that 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 is something that we need to recognize, and our, our warfare is is not physical. Come on, brother. Come on. But spiritual. spiritual. Another thing that we talked about was that we we, we got into the to the uh, Black Lives Matter and all all lives matter, and. We, we realize that it's all souls matter. Yes, sir. And, and uh, that should be our focus. So those are pretty much the, the subjects that we talk about and discuss. And I tell you what, it, it really, really uh, opened my eyes to some, some truths. Yes, sir. Uh, that 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 I know I'm lacking in and that I need to focus on more so that you know you hear these things 
you know, the weapons of our warfare. You you just hear that to where it just becomes a, a cliche. Yeah, woo. That 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 is the authority and the power that we walk in. We're not dealing with this physical realm. We're woo. dealing with this spiritual realm and the authority that we have is that that woo. the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. Wow. You know, and, and, and we all we we need to focus on that. Wow. That alone uh, to make any kind of movement in this world that we live in in this day to yeah. be effective. Yeah. So we, we speak to the to the demonic forces, no different than Jesus. Come on. Went about, went about healing all those wow. who are oppressed of the devil. Woo. That's our mantle. 